Hey there, welcome to learning analogy of five for beginners tutorial. So let's continue where we left off. So this is our material. Let me actually use my texture in the base color. So this might be a little bit better. So one of the first things that just first things that you need to really really pay attention to is that if you can use one texture in your material, do that. If you can pack all the um, different maps, I mean, I know that's a little bit huge right now, but you will learn a lot about it in the future. I'm just, it's like a heads up to you, nothing more. So as I told you, there are different maps in the material. Um, actually, these two maps are the same, but anyway, we have alpha channel as an as another pack as well so this texture has two textures inside it and it just uh the size is equals as just as if it's just one texture this is really important it just makes your uh makes the size in the game finally to be lower so we've added the texture so now the problem that we're having is the tiling so let's fix that um, you can right click on the on, in here and type in whatever you want or you have the palette in here I've already typed it So let me type again Texture coordinate is the node we're going to use so drag it in here um, Whenever you want to do something with the texture you want to uh, rotate it specifically you want to make an illusion You want to change the tiling or whatever you use this input called UVs so texture coordinate UV tiling is one uh, U tiling is one V tiling is one um, so U V X Y uh, let us tile the texture a little bit more so this is if this is tiled once tiling it twice makes the textures be like this so four squares let's do that two two So now the texture is not as the texture is not as big, uh, but it can get a little bit better too. So maybe five five. Let's see how that goes. Okay, cool. It's a little smaller. So now the next thing I want to talk about. I mean, we still haven't fixed this one. We will. We will. Don't worry. Just wait a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be using material instances. So browse and right click on the material remember i told you uh, about materials there are a lot in here material instances here so we're gonna right click create material instance the naming convention a convention is mi and the name of the material so double click on it there are light mass uh, settings, material property overrides, and if you want a preview mesh and the advanced settings. Uh, I've honestly never used this one. Oh, I don't. So it really isn't really that important, but I've used this a lot, like a lot. But you're not going to use it anyway right now. We, other than that, we don't really have anything. I mean, physics material, you're not going to use it. I mean, you will learn it in the future. It's really important. And the parent is M on a line test. But not now. Not in this lesson, at least. Uh, we don't have anything else. We have to create something for it. So, let's do that. Um, if you hold M on your keyboard and left click, you will have the multiply node. Or you can just type multiply put that up in and uh, we need a scalar parameter to do so hold s on your keyboard and left click and here's a name in that case it will be tiling and there will be a default value of one okay now you have it here so let's do something with it first of all we have to drag it into the scene so browse um for this one and you have this icon here you don't need to manually drag it here all the time you can use this icon 
So uh, it's right now it's changed, but it, uh, since the values are the same, you don't really see the difference. So let's actually change things. Uh, we have created this tiling here, so let's change it in real time so we can see what's happening. Okay, that looks cool. That looks cool, actually. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want the grid to be shown in here. Um, you will learn about these things in other videos. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of other uh, people talking about these things, about the content browser, user interface, everything that you see here. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about these things. These are like, I'm not here to talk about user interface, actually. I, I just try my best to go really deep into the things you need to know more about Unreal Engine 5. So we just turn that to grid off, not important. But we still haven't fixed this one. <laughs> I'm always talking about that. Um, so let's do something for that. Okay, this is gonna go a little bit advanced, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna get it. So. If you want to cut a line in here, you just uh, hold Alt on your keyboard and left click. If you want to, for example, you don't want it to be connected in here, you can hold Control and drag it to somewhere else. Okay. So a scalar parameter contains just one value inside it, or it's 1D. A texture coordinate is a vector 2D. U, V, it contains two values inside it. Some, like it, um, this one contains four values inside it, R, G, B, A. Um, but in the end, it's just two values, U, V. So it's just, it's, it's a vector 2D. Um, we have vector 3D and vector 4D too, but you don't need, really need to worry about that right now. So we can uh, separate U and V and work on them uh, separately. That's something we want to do right now. To do so, we have a node called component mask in here. Uh, we don't want the R and G together, we want them separately. So we will do that twice. So we have G here, we have R here. R is U, G is uh, Y. And we will multiply this by a scalar parameter default to one, and we'll do the same for this one too. I just copy and pasted it. Control C, Control V, nothing else. Um, and this one will be B. What's happening in there? What? <laughs> you can't use V. Um, so now we have two separate uh, scalar values. It's just a 1D value and it's just a 1D value. To make them one, there's a node called append, append vector. So we have them together as if it's like we have this one, but we separately did something on them and then we have them together. I don't know if that's open line. So let's go there. We have two values. Cool. Um, let's do something. Let's browse it and duplicate it because we don't want to change this one. We want to only change this one. So let's do that. Let's 
So let's see. I believe we've solved it. Okay, so we are only changing the U value of the texture. If we're to use this one too, we will again ruin it. We don't want that. But you can see the difference. Okay, probably this one's um, good. Okay, cool. There is one other thing I want to talk about. I hope you don't get mad at me. It's getting a little bit more technical. Um, so what if we want to shift the texture right and left? Well, you can always use add node. Um, so let's... Add. Yes, that's it. And add in here. Oh, I don't need to do that right now. Okay, U shift. Right now we don't need we aren't adding anything to it, but let's see what if we add something to it. It's gonna be really interesting. Let's see. See, it's going to the right, it's going to the left, and it's as easy as that. So if you're having a specific texture that you wanna you want to align with the um with the mesh you have and it's not aligning perfectly, you can use this piece of code here. You can maybe for the sake of cleaning up everything, we can add it here too. That's clear. Okay, now we have full control over the texture. I mean, coordinate-wise. But it's better than nothing, right? See you in the next lesson.